Now that we've got the marvellous designer exported item into Blender, what we can do is check to see if it's got materials, images, and we can sort out the UV maps. So first, just do a quick check, switch to material preview. This will display any materials and or images that are assigned to the mesh, and we have some. So by default, depending on how the mesh was set up in Marvelous when it's exported and brought into Blender. So if we go into Material Properties, we'll only have one material that's referencing all three images or all the images that are exported from Marvelous. In this case, there are three. There's a front, a back and the sleeves. They're all brought in to this one material. So that's a preview. So what we can do first is set up a couple of new materials, and these will be the back and sleeves. So click on the plus button, plus, plus. That's our material instances, then populate, click the new button, do that for both of them, and then rename. So click type, sleeves, We need to make sure that these are our iron view compatible names. So square brackets, numbers, close square brackets. Let's leave the default as is for clarity. Then what we need to do is assign these new materials to the corresponding sections of the mesh. So before we do anything else to the material, let's just get those assigned to the correct section or segment of the mesh. So we're going to use UVs for this. So UV editing workspace, these are our UVs. We're going to make a UV selection. So there's the mesh in the 3D view. Let's focus on that. So view frame selected. So we can now rotate around that. Switch to material preview. Again, so we can see the material. And for this next step, we want to select none. So nothing is selected. What we're going to do, access material properties. We're going to make a selection based on UVs. So when the entire mesh is selected, all the UV segments are selected. So these are corresponding segments or quadrants a marvellous designer and how the pattern was laid on that quadrant grid in marvellous designers UV editor. So what we're going to do is use these to make selections and then we'll assign a material to that mesh selection that's highlighted in selecting the UV. So for this we want to enable UV sync So click this button, that'll select all the UVs because the entire mesh is selected. So again, select, none, deselect. And all we're going to do, make a selection. So click drag, and that selects the corresponding section of the mesh. All we need to do now is select or highlight the corresponding material, and then click assign. And that assigns that material to that section of the mesh. We can change the base color just to make this easier to see. Repeat the process, select the sleeves. Again, it selects the corresponding components on the mesh. Select the material and click assign. Again, we can change it to the color just so that we can make this clearer to see what we're doing. So we've got our materials assigned to the corresponding sections of the mesh using UVs to make that selection. So what we can do now is use the materials themselves, select, deselect, we can use those to make our selections if we so wish. So 
So before we go any further, let's just save the file. File, save as number two. Now that we've done that, we can just edit the UV maps a little bit. Just bring the individual sections to align to the available texture space in Blender, because this is what IMVU is looking for. This can't be used in IMVU. This can. So for this, just disable UV Sync. No longer need that. And now that we've got our material assignments, we can use those to make our mesh selections which now in turn select the corresponding UV, which we can then move into position. So, front, select, that's already in position. So deselect, select the material, back, select, there is the UV, select it, use the move widget, Hold control down or press control and just snap and move that into position. And it'll snap. If we watch the corresponding numbers in the corner here, what we want is minus one plus one. So we've moved essentially, because this was the grid in Marvelous, we've moved it over one grid times one. So that's all we need to do. So hold control, click to confirm. Deselect. Do the same thing with the sleeves. Select. Make sure they are selected. Just deselect none, just so that we are selecting the sleeves only. Same again. Hold control. Snap. Move it down. So now that we've done that, we can finish setting up the materials. So we've got the material itself assigned. All we need to do to complete those is to add our image textures or images. So for that, we want to go into Shading Workspace. And we have the basic nodes of a material. These are the defaults. So if we go into Material Properties, we can select, so there's a preview, we can select our materials and we can see the corresponding nodes. So this is the default, which already includes the original texture that was assigned to the entire mesh. We need to modify that with some new images. So select back and we're going to add texture, image texture. So this is going to drop in a node that will hold the image that will be assigned to our mesh. Image texture, drop that into place. And here we want to click on new. So ordinarily we would click on open browse to the images that were exported with Marvelous Designer. But, as was mentioned earlier, because of the way Marvelous works, each of these images is referenced by this one material. So if we select these images and load them into the material and expect it to replace whatever we already have there, it won't do that. It'll just keep using this one material reference and the images that are associated with that, which is all three of these, in this case, combined. So what we have to do is force it not to do that. So what we have to do to force that, click on new, create an image, so back. We don't need square brackets for this. Change the size, click type 512. Type 512, and we're going to change the generated type to blank UV grid. So that's what we've got back 512 by 512 UV grid. Everything else is okay, and we can okay that, and it'll create the instance, the image instance. So, what we need to do now is connect color to base color, click drag, and we have the checker replacing the default color that we had in place. And what this means, it's forcibly overriding that default image that's being applied to everything. So same again for sleeves. Add texture, image texture. Drop 
drop that in new sleeves again we don't need the number 512 512 that's okay let's choose color grid for this one so there's a difference then okay and link color to base color and there we have our replacement if we want to replace the default that was brought in select that material and as we don't have the new button what we do is click on this little folder icon that opens up the pop-up let's call this front 512 by 512 and let's use a color for this let's make this blue blank okay and there is our blue image so let's just save this file save as number three so this is what we mean when we say we can't replace the images that are associated with these materials because it'll just bring in that default combination image and apply it to everything so if we select any one of these materials open browse to the corresponding image load that in it's loaded in the image relative to how it was originally assigned to our object if we go back to the uv editor we can see that it's brought in pullover diffuse 101 even though that was not the image that we actually selected so what we have to do to fix that let's switch this back to sleeves what we have to do to fix that is resaving the images or we rename them so in our image editor of choice all we need to do is just resave the images select the format browse to the save location give them a name and then save This needs to be repeated for however many images were exported from Marvelous to accompany the mesh. And then back in Blender, we can then assign these newly created resaved images to our materials. So we're in shading workspace selecting our materials in turn select sleeves or the material and now we can click on the folder icon browse select the image and this should replace our default without using the default UV mapping and texture shenanigans that it imports into Blender Repeat, back, let's replace the back, and then we've got the front, same again, click the folder icon, front, and that replaces the front. So let's rename this now that we've got the materials properly set up front zero and we have to go through that entire process in order to break the association that marvelous designer creates with the images that it exports and how those are all linked up to the uv map and the default material that's brought into blender so let's just save but that is the mesh ready for appending into a clothing project using the toolkit?